2021 Fayette County Teacher of the Year is underway. Hi, I'm Melinda Berry Drosbach. For those of you who have seen these videos before, this one's going to look very different. We recently went out to surprise our three finalists to find two of them in quarantine and one of them teaching a virtual class. Although different, this year's honor of being named a finalist means more to our teachers than ever, and you will see it in their faces and hear it in their voices. Let me introduce you to our 2021 Teacher of the Year finalists. I think it's incredible. I mean, especially being a media specialist, that's such an honor, you know, just to be counted among um, teacher colleagues as somebody who's even eligible, you know, for this honor. It means a lot to me. It's one of our ultimate goals is to be considered a fellow teacher um, and to be, you know, with the title teacher librarian, it, that's the ultimate honor. So I, I really count it as a high regard to be, you know, named in that title as, as teacher of the year and um, means a lot because that is what I want to do is impact the kids and their achievement and um, yeah, huge honor. Sure, um, I, I believe this is definitely well deserved. Uh, Miss Hodge is an essential member of our team. Um, she's our go-to gal whenever we need anything instructional technology based, whenever we need anything that is graphic design based, whenever we need anything <laughs> organizational. She's a great member of our leadership team and she's also a great extension of our academic program. I think our, our teachers look to her at, to be a resource, especially in our English classrooms, but in all classrooms. Um, but she's a great resource for them and really does an outstanding job and goes above and beyond each and every day for our students and for our staff and she's an essential piece of our success so congratulations it's very well deserved and I'm here to let you know that you are a finalist for Fayette County Teacher of the Year congratulations Congratulations, we're so proud of you. Great job. Um, this is such a surprise and a wonderful honor. Um, I love our school. I love our school system. I'm so proud um, that I get to be a part of it. I went to Fayette County Schools my entire uh, school career. Um, when I got my teaching credential, I desperately wanted to be back in Fayette County. But yes, this is such an honor and I'm just, I'm so surprised because I know the caliber of teachers in our community. So to be named a finalist, you know, it, it's just such a high honor uh, and I appreciate it so much. So, um, Ms. Raven, as she stated, has been with Fayette all of her um, teaching career, and she certainly is a jewel for us here at Fayette County High School. She um, commits herself to go above and beyond every day, not only for her students, but also for her teachers, as well as her administrative team. She has been an amazing support for us all here, not only just um, in day-to-day -day things, but also just personally. She always supports, she always lends a helping hand, and she makes sure that our students have everything they need to be successful and to transition here off the Tiger Trail. And we are very fortunate, very grateful, and um, just excited, happy, and um, appreciative that she is receiving this honor because she is well deserving of it. and extremely grateful and I feel very blessed 
Thank you so much. Wow. Well, first of all, I hate that she's at home having to get this uh, notification, but uh, if anybody's well deserving of this award, it is Ms. Gross Bowen or this, this nomination to be a finalist. Um, she is the ultimate professional educator. She cares about students. She makes connections with her students. They love her in return, and it's just a, it is a great uh, bond, bonding uh, relationship that she has with those kids in the classroom. And I think, uh, you know, if you ask anybody who's going to be the most humble about any kind of recognition, it would be Miss Jennifer Grossbolin because she knows what she's here for. Uh, she's not here for herself. She's here to serve others, and she's here to serve children, and that's what she does best. So we are just so extremely blessed to have her as part of our staff and uh, working with our children.